Okay, cool. So, so what we just did is we just posted it on the actual business page. And so when it comes to a video it may take a few minutes um, to reflect there, but whether it's an image or an actual video, you always want to post and, and let me rephrase that when it's an ad. So when it's an ad and it's a video or an image, you always want to post it on the business page first. Okay. And then what's so, so important is, if, is, is that we look at, make, make sure the text is spelled, make sure everything's correctly. There's no, you know, grammar errors or whatever. And then when it comes to video, we'll take a look at the video once it actually posts, but sometimes we may want to change the thumbnail, right? Sometimes when we do video, the first thumbnail shot is a retarded one. Our eyes are closed or we're looking freaking up. You know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. on, on the actual, so with Facebook, you're, you're able to change the thumbnail. And so we want to make sure we do all that before we actually run the ad, before we actually, before we actually run the ad, because once we run the ad, we can no longer edit. So you won't oh. be able to edit that video post or image post. So it's very important to make sure everything is, is correct now. Um, so in the meantime, what we'll do is let's simply go to the business manager and we'll just um, set up the ad. So let's go to our folder at the top and we'll just go to ads manager. Perfect. Ads manager. And then from here, we'll always want to make sure the star is, is where we're bookmarked. So that star in the top in the in the top right. So that that's the blue. That's our bookmark. We're in this account. Sometimes by default, as you come into the ads manager, just like we did right now, sometimes by default, Facebook will have you in the other account. So if you click on that drop down in the top left, Whitney, you see see more ad accounts. Sometimes they'll have you, or actually most of the time, they'll have you in that other account. So click on see more ad accounts. That's the one. So the bottom one, by default, you'll be in that one a lot of times. So you'll be halfway through setting up a damn ad and you're like, holy shit, I'm in the wrong account. So you always want to just double check that you're in the right one, which we are. So we're perfect. So from here, all we're going to do is click the green one, click on create. And so with this account info, we need to confirm a few days before you publish an ad, you can either go to account. Okay. So go ahead and click on that, whatever that is. So this video is going, to be end up, is going to go out to tens of thousands of people in that local area, and not all of them are going to watch it. Not, not all of them are going to even watch half of it. You're going to have thousands of people that watch maybe 15 seconds of it, 20 seconds of it, maybe 25 seconds of it. But anyone that watches just a little bit of something, if I sat there and watched 10 seconds of something, I know who that person is now, right? Like 10 seconds is a long time, Yeah. right? Now, three seconds, that might be just someone scrolling through. Watch, go to your newsfeed real quick. Let's just test this for ourselves. Go to your newsfeed. Let's just randomly go through the newsfeed. Let's just look at random stuff. And, and as we scroll down, there's an image. Let's see a video. Here's a video right here. So if we sat here, look at that, two, three, four, five. That's a long ass time. So if I'm sitting here and I watch it for 10 seconds, that's someone that we should get back in front of. Right. Yeah. And that's the whole objective. The whole purpose of video views is to find that small percentage that actually sat there and watched it for 30 seconds. Because if I can turn around and show them another ad, and when I do, I'm going to turn around and show them a conversions ad. That's when they're going to, they're going to see me for the second time. They're like, holy shit, I saw her last week. Right. And so now we just continue to retarget and, and all we're doing is branding ourselves in a local area. Um, which is, which is going to create that omnipresence. So video views. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the drop down before we continue with we'll that. Yeah. We'll hit that drop down. We'll scroll down just a bit. These are the three levels that we're about to go through, right? The, the, the campaign level, the ad set level and the ad level. So as you start to run ads, you want to start titling these levels. Um, just so when you come into the dashboard, you know exactly what ad is what, because if we're not super detailed with the, with the, with the, with the title of the ad, we're going to have to click on it. We're going to have to go into it. We're going to have to see what ad that was. And you don't want to have to do that. It's too many clicks. So here campaign, the title name, this campaign, let's name it intro video, intro video. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, we're going to put video views because that's the objective we're going with. That's the campaign level. On the campaign level, all you're doing is choosing the objective. And then also we're gonna choose the housing special ad category, but that's it. So it's really just naming it that. Intro video, video views, perfect. And then the ad set level, let's go in and name that. And we, as we go into that section, the second ad set section, for example, we're gonna, that's where we set up everything. But here again, we're giving it a very basic, detailed, specific title. So here I would, I would name it, I would name it maybe the, the area we're going to target. So what, what city or what town Lakewood, perfect Lakewood. And then just put, put Lakewood, um, 15 miles, 
Lakewood, 15 miles. So we know exactly what we're about to set up. And then the ad, you can just put intro video, same thing as, as the top intro video. Perfect. That's it. And then continue. Awesome. So now as we go in, we're still on the first level. So to the very left, top left, those are the three levels. Intro video, video views, Lakewood, 15 miles, intro video. Those are the three levels we're about to go through. So here, the campaigns, a special ad category, that campaign drop down, hit that drop down categories and go to housing. Not that one, though. Yeah, that one. So you're going to always do housing from this point on. Um, and that's why with boosted post, you don't see this section. So when you boost a post, the ad ends up getting rejected all because of this. So you always, always, always have to go housing. So that's it for step one of, of the campaign level. Now you hit next and we go to this, the second step. So now over here, we're going to go budget and we're going to go calendar and we're going to go the location, which is Lakewood. So with, with daily budget, click that drop down. You got daily and then you have, you have lifetime. And do you know what the, what the difference is? No. Daily, daily is, is what it is. Daily for example, 20. Now we're going to change the 20. We don't want 20 a day. We don't need 20 a day at all, but 20 is, is daily. So you're forcing Facebook to, to spend that 20 bucks in a 24 hour period. You're forcing them, right? You're forcing them to do it. Lifetime is where I can set the, set a calendar date. So I can set it for today till next Thursday. And then rather than spending, let's say, let's say it is $20 a day that we're going to spend. Um, let's just say that for example, and let's say we're, we're going to do it for, for, for 10 days. Rather than going daily 20, I would go lifetime 200. Oh, okay. Same dollar amount, but I'm just giving Facebook the flexibility to spend it accordingly, to spend it. As long as you spend it within this calendar period, I'm good. And the reason why we do it that way is because every day is different. Every day, the traffic on Facebook is different. Um, for example, over the next couple of days, probably everyone and their mother is going to be on their cell phone. Everyone will be on Facebook for sure, right? And, mm -hmm. and that's just a, a, a high demand time of year for traffic. But after this, after, this, after this weekend, it might just fluctuate and go back down a little bit, the traffic and the attention on Facebook. So that's why I go lifetime. So they can just kind of spend it as the traffic goes up and down. I don't want to force them daily to spend it. So lifetime with this, what I would do is I would really start maybe if the budget is 300 for the month, then just divide it by four and, and make this our first, our first video of one of four. So what okay. would that be? Um, 75, what is that? 75 a week or what would that be? 400, what's 400? I'm so bad. 400 divided by four is how, or 300. I'm so sorry. It was 300 <laughs> divided by four. Three, 300 divided by 75. Yeah, it was 75. So if anything, you can go 75 lifetime and maybe run this for the next seven days, maybe even, maybe even 10 days since it's the intro video. Um, you can do it that way or, and, or one way to do it as well is to put a, is to, is to put is to leave it at 75, but run it the whole month. That's oh. one strategy as well. So your whole, the whole entire month, that intro video is running. That, that could be, that could be a strategy as well. So you can go, yeah, you can go, what I would do. And here's, here's another thing. When we set up ads, we always want to do it for the next day at 6 AM. So you're going to go, you're going to go December 25th, either the 25th or the 26th, but yeah, 25th is the next day. So 6 a.m. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just, yeah, let's just, why don't we just push it out? Let's, yeah, let's go, let's go 25th to the 25th. So we'll go 6 a.m. And then, um, and then we'll go, we'll go January 25th on, on the, on the end and then 6 a.m. Perfect. So again, I just got done saying um, four divided by 300 and, and there's the 75 and, and, the way I'm strategically trying to set this up is one ad per week. And that's going to okay. be the strategy, but this is the intro video. So it might, it, it, so it's also good to just have the damn thing run, just let it run, let it run throughout the month. And, and let's just, let's just let it run, but, but also stay on track for video number two, video number three, and video number four, because we can have multiple ads running. So this video ad is going to run all month. And then we're also going to have three more ads coming this month as well, for example. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. you, you would only do this with the intro video. You wouldn't do this with an open house or anything else like that. This is simply introducing ourselves. 
Yeah. So it's good to let it run a little longer. So that's good. Perfect. So there's our, there's our budget. Um, and if anything, what I'll do too at the top. So let's scroll up to the top, to the title Lakewood, 15 miles dash 75, $75. And again, that way, when we glance at it on the dashboard, we know exactly what, what we're spending on this. So, so that's good. Perfect. Okay. So we'll scroll down and then a little lower. Um, so right here, right here in the future, in the future, this is where we would retarget our custom audiences. So if you click inside custom audience in that box, search existing audiences, a little lower the box, search existing audiences. If you click in there, you'll see a drop down of all of our custom audiences. So as we move forward, ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, this is where we'll start retargeting people who watched the intro video, people who watched last week's open house video. Right, people who 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 engaged on a post or ad, this is where we would retarget. So we would dump all the audiences in there, and then also below on the map, also we'll we'll, we'll include Lakewood. But here we're retargeting, and then as we start to capture leads, as we start to capture leads, as people go to the landing page, enter their name and email, they click submit. They go to the second page. That's the thank you page. As people land on that specific link, that's also a custom audience. That would be named, for example, Open House Leads or 777 Blue Ivy Open House Leads. Those leads, those people, every week we're going to have a new audience because every week would be a different open house. So every week there's going to be people landing on the thank you page, on the second page. That's when we would exclude. So okay. we would click exclude and we would start excluding those audiences. Okay. okay. So now United States, we'll hit edit to the right, and then we'll just go Lakewood. Okay, cool. Lakewood. And then we'll always, always go with the drop down. So whenever we see the drop down, Lakewood. Okay, awesome. So there's Lakewood, Washington. Okay, so that becomes your stomping ground. That's the area we're freaking taking over. Okay, so every week we're going to continue to, to, and would you say all your open houses will be in this area? Yeah. Okay, so it could be good to target this one area every single time, but because we're going to go the open house strategy, then when we start running those ads, it would be good to maybe put the address. So we'll okay. put the address of that property in there and then go 15 miles out of out from the address. Got it. Right. So in this case, with the intro, we'll do Lakewood and we'll just blanket that whole area. OK, cool. So age, we cannot change. Gender, we cannot change because we're in the special ad category. We're in the housing category. So we can't do anything there. Um, Detail targeting. Sometimes it's good to put to put keywords in this area. Um, which we will for open house ads, but not on this one. With the intro, we'll just target the whole damn city. Everyone, since we can't even change the age, we're going to just let everyone see that see that ad. Um, so we'll leave the detail targeting blank. We won't put anything there. So we'll scroll down. If anything, languages, you can maybe change languages, if anything, um, or you can leave it You can leave it wide open. Um, so if I, my new um, agent that's underneath me, she wants to target Spanish-speaking would she awesome. change it to Spanish? Oh yeah, that's it. Her ads in Spanish. Oh, she would crush it. Yep, she would crush it. There's not too many people that do that at all, at all, at all. Everyone's kind of targeting English, and 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 that's it. But, and then I also have another agent that speaks Vietnamese. Oh, pfft. they would crush it too. They would crush it too. They would literally crush it, like crush it, crush it, because no one's doing that. No one's putting out pure content or or running ads on on another language. Like, especially Spanish. Like, if she started doing stuff in Spanish and then just targeted language Spanish, holy shit, she would take over. Cool. I'm going to I'm gonna yeah. have her contact you. I know, uh, well, to do your class. So whenever you're ready to, for your, like, yeah, for sure. class, she's going to contact you. Or again, they could start paying you it. Like, shit, like, for real. Like, that's why what I'm doing here is giving you this skill so you can literally start teaching these people if you wanted to. You can always send them my way for sure, but... I mean, shit, like that's what's going to, I truly believe that's what, that would, that's what would bring more value to people want to even be on your team is so, that you could teach them some shit, you know? I know, but I, but if, if you had the time, what's that? 
I don't want to leave you out. <laughs> no, it's all good. That's all. Like, trust me, you're not like, you're not at all. Like your okay. support here. You've already, you've already blessed me enough. Like I want to help you. Like, let's just freaking build your team this year and take you a hundred plus, cool. you know, and deal. So yeah, but no, for sure. If you don't, a lot of times I, I, I extend that out and then people are just super freaking busy. So they just send them my way anyway. So yeah, if you're too busy, then shit. Yeah. I'll, I'd love to help anybody, but with this skill, you can easily, you know, run through an ad for her. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play by ear. So automatic, do you know the difference between automatic and manual? Uh, no. Okay. So if you click on manual, automatic is right here, manual. So everything you see checked, if you scroll down, you see Facebook, audience network, Instagram, messenger, all of this shit is checked. That's automatic. So automatic is letting Facebook run that ad anywhere and everywhere. Which, okay. which, which can be a good thing. It can be a good thing. Um, and, and that's, the, and this part, sometimes it's, it's worth testing. Now in this, with this, in this intro video case, we don't need to test. There's really no need to test, but as we start to run other ads, sometimes it's good to test. We'll run some open house ads where we go automatic. We'll do some open house ads where we do manual, because if you look at, if you look at, if you look at this manual, and if you look at all these different placements on Facebook, so you have placement feeds, you have stories and reels, you have, if you scroll down even farther, you have, um, it, you have in-stream, you have reels overlay, you have search. So all of this shit is what's in the Facebook platform. All these different random parts of Facebook that we don't even really pay attention to, that's everywhere. Anything and everywhere, and that's everywhere an, a, a post can be or an ad can be placed. But the way that I look at it, from a consumer's perspective, because we're consumers, where do we spend the majority of our time? Where is the majority of our attention? The here, majority here, right? It's in the feed. It's in the freaking news feed. I'm in my news feed. Watch, go back to Facebook real quick. The other tab that's open to the left, top left. We're here. Like we're spending all of our freaking time in this damn news feed looking at cats. It's very rarely where we're carrying what the hell's on the right side of the page, Right. Like you yeah. see those glasses to the right now, every now and then that will catch your attention every now and then, but 99.99% of the couple billion people that are on Facebook and Instagram, all their attention is on the newsfeed. Well, so, and when you're on your phone, you don't see this. Yeah, exactly. Right. All you see is damn newsfeed. So, so in the Facebook ad platform in, in here, Facebook gives us the, the, the ability to uncheck all this stuff if we don't want to be placed over there. So if I want, if I want every single penny of my dollar going to only the news feed, I can do that. I can uncheck all of this shit and only go to the, the Facebook news feed and, and let all of, a, all of all of that penetration, all of that dollar go there. Mm -hmm. Right. So sometimes that's good too. Um, actually, a lot of times that's good. Um, but in this case, it's an intro video. We're trying to just get exposure. This is our intro into the into the community. This is like our our just welcome. Hey, here's wit. We'll go automatic. We'll let it we'll let it run everywhere. Okay. So scroll down, and that's about it. So now in this second step, right? What did we do? We went, we ch we we chose the budget, we chose the location, we chose the the um the um the um the um calendar and then also we can put in our custom audiences we can exclude include um and then we can change the placement that's all on the second step this is the ad set level step two okay and that's it so now we click on next and we go to the third and final step and then over here what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that instagram account is um is is connected which perfect perfect it is okay cool so now over here there's two different ways to run to run an ad. Okay, so the way we did it, that's the way that's the way we always do it. That's one way to do it, where we post it on the business page first, and then we come over here and run the ad. That's one way to do it. A second way to do it is to simply not post it there and pull it from your download folder, for example. So as we come in here and we create ad, we're going to simply, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll click on add video. And it'll allow you to pull it from your computer, hmm. right? That's the second way. So the way I, the reason why I don't do it that way, pull it from the computer, pull it from your download folder, for example, is because that's what, what, what they call a dark post ad. So an ad is running, but it's nowhere on my business page. And it's just kind of running behind the scenes. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's running for sure, but it's just not on the business page. 
that's, that's, that's a dark post ad. A lot of people run it that way. But the reason why I don't run it that way is because if I'm going to spend money on the damn thing, I want it to live on the business page publicly forever. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Especially if we're going to spend money on it. It's like, shit, let the damn thing live there forever. Let people see it in the future. Like, I don't care if the ads turned off, let people see it nine months from now, it's going to be on the page. Right. Um, and, and when they see it, they're going to see it with thousands of views. They're going to see it with hundreds of people that commented and click like, for example. Right. So that social proof lives on the page forever. That's why we post it on the page first um, and then come over here and run the ad. So here on the ad setup, rather than create ad, we're going to click that and go use existing post. And you know what? Let's go back to Facebook before we select post. Let's go back over here and see if it's on the page, because what I want to do real, real quick is edit it. So let's let's try. Yeah, try refreshing it. It should be here by now. OK, awesome. Perfect. So again, ad number two and on will hold that phone horizontal. Because you notice the black borders on the left and right. Yeah. Right. Now, this is perfect for Instagram. As we run Instagram ads, because I'm going to teach you that as well. As we run Instagram ads, that's the format for Instagram. That's the dimension vertical. And as we run Instagram ads, go back to the other, to the ads manager, to the other tab. Click on Lakewood, 15 miles to the left, top left. So as we run Instagram, that's when we'll go scroll down. We'll go back down to, to the placements. And we'll do manual placement. We'll uncheck everything and only leave Instagram. Got it. That's how you run Instagram ads successfully, where you completely separate them. You let it run on it on its own, only Instagram. So here, here's what we want to do first before we before we choose the post. We want to make sure that we put. Watch. Go back to go back to the newsfeed real quick. Click the home at the top. Top. Yeah. Click that. So if you scroll down, let's look for a video real quick. Just any random. Okay, per, right here. Actually, you can go back up to that one. Go back up a little bit, right here. What we're gonna add, this is an image, but it's but it but it's for sure on video. What we're gonna add is that bottom left. So you see the image, and then bottom left, you bottom right, you see shop now, but bottom left, you see that description: optical eyeglasses dash T I J J N. Right, that little brief description is what we want to add to every video, every video that we're gonna that we're gonna run as an ad. And so it's not there right now. So the way it is right now, if we were to run the ad, yours would be blank on the bottom left, but we want to add something there for sure. So go back to your business page. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to click the three dots and we're going to go to edit. So we'll edit post. And then we're going to click on video options. And actually, you know what? That's a really good, that was a really good thumbnail. So right there, the video title, video title, we're going to add something there. And, and, and that's something super short, super. And, and in the future, we want it to be catchy. We want some type of catchy call to action um, in the future as we capture leads. But in this one, you could just put something simple. Like, what did you put on the, on the tech, on the, on the actual text? You put, you put. Um, just a quick hello. Yeah. A quick hello here. It could be, it could be something like that too. Just, um, your local realtor just wanted to say hi or something like that. Like um, meet your local realtor, Whitney, or something like that. Your local realtor wanted to say hi. Perfect. 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 And then now click on. So if you go change thumbnail, if you go change thumbnail, now Facebook scroll down, choose from video. You can choose different parts of that's a really awesome one. The one that's already on, but just in the future, like, Sometimes you get stuck with your mouth open, right? That's an mm -hmm. awesome one right there. But this is how you would change it in the future. And again, you always want to do it before you run the ad. Because once we publish that ad, you can't do this part no more. Perfect. Okay, so, so that's a good one. So we'll hit save and we're good. So that was super, super important. Adding the video title and then click save again. Adding the video title and then change the thumbnail if needed before we run the ad. Okay, cool. So we're good there. So now let's go back. And all we're going to do is simply um, go back to the ads manager and we're going to simply choose that post. So if we go use existing post, we're going to click select post right below. Yep, we'll select post and there it is there. So we'll hit that and then we'll hit continue. And then, and then what we'll do too, is we don't have a, a lead capture page yet, but what you can do is you can always scroll down just a bit. You can um, add button. 
and you can either add a send message button or you can add a learn more button and maybe just send them to your to your exp website for now if if anything but um go ahead and add a button just let's just add something Okay, yeah, you can go, you can go learn more or or send or send message, but learn more if you, you do have an exp site right or send yeah. message. Yeah, you could do that too. Perfect. Perfect. Cool. So now you see that the bottom left, your local realtor wanted to say hi. That wouldn't have been there before right that was that would have been blank. So we're good there. So now we're going to publish and we're good. So actually, yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. So publish. And then the last, last part we want to do real quick. And you want to just get in the habit of doing this every single time. So what we just did is we just uploaded it to the business page. We came over here and we made sure all the edits were done. And then we came over here and published the ad. And then what we're going to do right after is go and create the custom audience. So we can start tracking everyone who's watching the video. So when this happens, you just clicked on the green button and then it gets stuck publishing one of three. I, I see that happen every time when that happens and it gets stuck like this. All you do is open up another tab. So open up another tab. Let's go back to the ads manager in the, in the, in the folder. Yeah. You can leave this one here. We'll just open up another tab and we'll go to the ads manager and then we'll push it through from over here. So if you notice the, the, the blue button top, right, that's what's, what's, review and publishes three. The three is the three levels, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. So because it got stuck at 24% on the other one, that's what that is. So click on that. So we're going to just simply hit the green one, publish, and then it'll go through. Publishing one of three, you'll, you'll see two of three and three of three. Okay, cool. We're good. So now you can close that other tab. That second one up there. Perfect. Yeah. Close out that one. Yeah. Leave. Okay, cool. So now you're, this one's scheduled, meaning it's already approved. So what did Facebook approve us on? They approved us on the, the fact that we added the special ad category of housing, um, and they approved us on the, on the um, objective of video views. And if you click on the middle tab, ad sets, these are our three tabs, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. And then you notice the title. So now it allows us to just look at the title and know exactly what ad that is. Um, so that's Lakewood 15 miles. So that... Um, that you'll see there, that's scheduled, that's approved. So they approve the targeting, they approve the, 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 the calendar, the budget and all that, the placement. And if you click on the ads, what they're in review, what's processing and will be in review for a few hours is the video. So now they're, they're checking the video to make sure there's, there's no bat. And they, I don't know if it's, a, if, if, if it's a machine that checks it or if it's actually someone that checks it because I've seen ads get rejected. Um, because of the video, because there might have been a bad word and not even a crazy bad word. Maybe someone said shit or maybe someone said ass, for example, like not, not, not crazy. It'll get rejected for that. And then it'll also get rejected. I have clients where they'll do, they'll do, they'll do like, like, um, Dude, they'll do like tours, like they'll do like interior, like walkthroughs of a property. I've had clients get rejected because as they're doing a walkthrough, there happens to be a wet bar in the kitchen, for example, and there's bottles back there ads will get rejected because of that too. So it's mm. the video that would take a little longer. That's why we always set the calendar for the next day, because this is going to take a little while to approve Got it. the video. Okay. So, so we're good there. Now what we want to do right away um, is create the custom audience. So we'll hit the, the three lines or you can go to your folder, either one, but three lines and we'll go to audiences. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now over here, what we want to do is we want to click the green, I mean green, um, we want to click the blue button, create audience to the left, and then we'll go custom audience, and then we're going to go video. So yesterday we went Facebook page, right? So now we're going to go video, and then as we get our, our pages up, we'll go website. But, but really, those are, the, those are mainly, from this point on, you already did Facebook page yesterday. So where do you have the audience for that? That never needs to be redone or, or reset up for any other ad that Facebook page is good. From this point on, all you're going to be doing is creating audiences for video and for website. Okay. It's really nothing else. Um, Instagram account on Facebook listings, events, shopping, none of that stuff. It's website video. That's it. So in this case, we'll go video, we'll hit next. And then what we're going to do is we're going to simply the engagement, the first drop down, we'll click on that. And these are the different, this is all the different percentages and in, in, in different amounts of time. So three seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. 
So based on the length of the video, like how long was that video? A minute? 45, 45 seconds. 45 seconds. So what we want to do is capture an audience of at least 15 seconds. So if you watched at least 15 seconds of that video, you're going to see another ad. Okay, so we'll choose video top right. We'll click on choose videos. And then we'll simply, um, actually it's the top right where you're in the painter page. So we'll hit that drop down. We'll go down to yours and we'll see all of your videos. So in the future, you can create, I would do them all separately because Facebook does allow you to bunch all of them in one. But what I would do is I would I would probably do them all, all separately. Um, yeah, yeah, do them all separately. So in this case, just check that first one and then hit confirm. And then over here, the retention 365, what I would do on that is I would drop it. I would drop it for sure down to, down to 90, 90, 90 is good, 60 is good. Um, let's do 60 days. Anyone who's watched this video in a 60 day period is gonna be in this audience. And then audience name, intro video. Intro video, and then in parentheses, 15 seconds. Okay, so this would be an audience that you'll always, always retarget in every single ad. You'll always retarget on the second step, the ad set step, we'll always put in this audience to retarget. So we'll hit create audience, and then done. And that's it. So, so this right here is, is, is what we want to focus on is custom audience, building all these audiences to retarget or again, exclude in the future. So that ad will go live tomorrow. And then our next, our next step is to, you know what, do you go to, um, do you have a domain already or, or do, do you not have a domain already? Um, I purchased one a while ago and my fiance was supposed to do it. Uh, find out about that. Find out which one you have and find out where, where you purchased it. Because that, that's what we want to do next is we can, we'll, we'll leave this one just for the video today, just so we don't, I don't overwhelm you with all this information, but next we'll integrate the domain. So Facebook can start tracking that domain. Okay. There's an integration that we got to do here on Facebook and, and through the actual um, settings of where you purchase the domain. So hopefully, hopefully you got it through GoDaddy. That's the most popular one. But whatever one you got it through, it's all the same settings. We log into wherever you purchased it from, and then we we get a code, a piece of code from Facebook, and then we add it to that domain, and Facebook can start tracking it. Okay, so so this one is good to go. And if anything, do do another video real quick. Click on the create create audience. Click on the blue button, and just do one more for the hell of it. Just do custom audience, and then let's go video, and then next, and then just um, go choose a content type. Yep. And we'll just go 15. We'll do 15 seconds for all of them, 15 okay. seconds for all of them, and then choose videos in the top, right. And then just choose any of these other ones. Um, perfect. Perfect. And then name it, name it exactly what that was too. That was first time buyer. Or what was it? First time home. Yeah. First. Yeah. First time home buyer. Perfect. And then in parentheses, 15 seconds. So even though, even though those were organic posts and there wasn't a ton of views on them, for example, it's still, it's still okay to, to do this audience. But in the future, as you can see, when we run these ads on videos, we're going to get literally thousands of people to view them. So the audience is so important okay. to be able to track that and retarget those people in the future. Cool? Perfect. Awesome. So any questions on this what, at all? Um, no. Okay. We're it take me a while to like understand, like be able to do it in my sleep, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nor do you have to right now. That's why you got me. So I'll walk yeah. you through all this stuff. We'll be on these, on these coaching calls for a while till this stuff really hits off for you. So, um, we'll let this one run. And then our next, our next one is you want to, you want to for sure, so I should have um, by next Wednesday, I'll have my um, open house for the New Year's weekend set up so we can do that one. Okay. So then, so then, okay, perfect. So then here's what we got to do on Wednesdays for Monday. Open. Can we chat Monday? Yeah. Monday is when we'll activate the Karcher account. Okay. Because that's when we'll need the pages for the open house. Got it. Cool. And then we'll just that. Yeah. We'll just activate the 14 day trial on Monday and we'll, we'll have, yeah, we'll have leads coming in before we even, before the 14 day trial even ends. 
Perfect. What what time works best for you? The same time actually is always perfect, but I, I'm on your schedule. So you tell me it's it's oh, all good. 10 is perfect. Perfect. Let's do 10 Monday and I'll I'll shoot you an email as well. Okay. Cool with. I'll awesome. be a message away if you need anything. Have a super, super Merry Christmas, even though you've already ex- celebrated it, but have a good time anyways. <laughs> you you and, have a good Christmas too. Hopefully your kids it's enjoy so damn it. stressful, man. I'm, it's not even fun anymore, dude. I'm telling you, it's not even fun anymore. Like it's so, I'm just stressed out trying to get presents for kids and making sure everyone's okay. It's, it's a whole different, I'm telling you, man, you and your husband or you and your fiance, you guys need to enjoy the hell out of each other before any little ones come around. Because oh, once the little ones come around, it's no longer hubby and wifey. It's freaking feed the damn kids. They need to stop crying. You know, <laughs> it's it's not even like, yeah, it's a completely different. Yeah, it's, it's so worth it. I mean, I love my kids, but it's like, shit, man, it's such a responsibility. Definitely. So have fun with your hubby and I'll be a message away if you need anything. Perfect. Thank you. Right, have a good one. Bye-bye.